Here, we'll show you a quick and easy method of completing and balancing a formula equation for a neutralization reaction. At this point, we'll just focus on the formulas and their coefficients, and we won't worry about the subscripts S, L, and A, Q. We'll outline the steps using an example. Here, we're asked to complete and balance the equation for the reaction that occurs when HCl reacts with SrOH2. We'll write down the given formulas for the reactants and count the number of H's the acid can donate, and the number of OH's in the base. We see that the acid, HCl, has one H it can donate, and the base, SrOH2, has two OH's in its formula. Next, we add necessary coefficients to reactants to make H's donated by the acid equal to the OH's in the base. Adding the coefficient 2 in front of HCl gives us a total of 2 H's donated by the acid. So the number of H's donated by the acid is now equal to the number of OH's in the base, as both of these are equal to 2. When 1 H plus is added to 1 OH minus, 1 H2O is formed. So when 2 H pluses are added to 2 OH minuses, 2 molecules of H2O are formed. We can now use this to find and write the number of H2O molecules in the products. We'll write 2 H2O as one of the products of this reaction. Neutralization forms water and a salt. We'll use the cation of the base and the anion of the acid to come up with the correct formula for the salt formed in this reaction. The base is SrOH2, so the cation of the base is Sr2+. The acid is HCl, so the anion of the acid is Cl-. Because HCl has a coefficient of 2, there are 2 Cl ions to make the salt. One Sr2 plus ion and two Cl minus ions form the compound SrCl2, or strontium chloride. The charges on one Sr2 plus ion and two Cl minus ions add up to zero. So this verifies that SrCl2 is the correct formula for the salt strontium chloride. At this point, it would be good to double check that the formulas are all correct and the atoms and charges in the equation are all balanced. So now we've completed the balanced neutralization equation for the reaction that occurs when HCl reacts with SrOH2. Here's another example. We're asked to complete and balance the equation for the reaction that occurs when H2SO4 reacts with FeOH3. We'll write down the given formulas of the reactants and count the number of H's in the acid and the number of OH's in the base. We have two H's in the acid, H2SO4, and three OH's in the base, FeOH3. Our next step is to add necessary coefficients to reactants to make the H's donated by the acid equal to the OH's in the base. The lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. Adding the coefficient 3 in front of H2SO4 gives us a total of 6 H's. And adding the coefficient 2 in front of FeOH3 gives us a total of 6 OH's. When 1 H plus is added to 1 OH minus, 1 H2O is formed. So when 6 H's are added to 6 OH minuses, 6 molecules of water are formed. And we'll add 6 molecules of water to the product side of our equation on the top. Now we'll use the cation of the base, FeOH3, and the anion of the acid, H2SO4, to write the correct formula for the salt. The cation of the base, FeOH3, is the Fe3 plus ion, and there are two of them. The anion of the acid, H2SO4, is a sulfate ion, SO4 2 minus, and there are three of them. Two Fe3 plus ions and three SO4 2 minus ions form the salt, Fe2 SO4 3. At this point, it would be good to check the equation and make sure all atoms and all charges are balanced. So now we have completed the balanced neutralization equation for the reaction that occurs when the acid H2SO4 reacts with the base FeOH3.